Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're going to take a closer look at the works of mercy, first the corporal works, then the spiritual. Today the second corporal work of mercy, giving drink to the thirsty. Again, most of us know what it's like being thirsty, getting that dry sensation in our mouths or throats, or both, and that's no fun. However, the worst is when you start to get dehydrated. Dehydration can cause headaches, dizziness, exhaustion, itching, and that's just to start with. Severe dehydration has another whole set of symptoms, even less pleasant to experience. Human beings need liquids to survive and function, and as with hunger, it's not just a desire. In fact, a lot of things are similar between this work of mercy and the last. Giving people a drink may not be an errand of mercy if they're abstaining from drink voluntarily. However, to the best of my knowledge, the church has no traditional practices of that sort. So if a person does avoid drink on purpose, it would probably be for some reason other than fasting. Also, as with food, giving people specific drinks that they want is neither required nor necessarily helpful for them. The goal is to save people from suffering, exhaustion, and death, which can come about through dehydration, not merely to give someone what they want. Because none of us would want to be abandoned to thirst, it's just and good to help people in this way. Next, how do you clothe the naked? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.